tonight, folks. You are watching Eye on Zion. So, behind me is a caravan. You know, only in Israel are Jews proud to live in trailer homes. The rest of the places, well, a little bit less. These trailer homes are special. They're the future of Jewish communities. We're expanding, we're growing on our homeland. Isn't that amazing? What a feeling to grow, like a child growing. It's something so proud, it's something so amazing. Now here we are in beautiful Beit El. What's Beit El? It's the house of God. It's the place where Jacob had his dream of the ladder. The whole world knows this. If you go to churches, if you go to synagogues, you'll know the name Bethel, Bethel, Bethel. Why? Because Bethel is the house of God. Something, a name, an idea, a ladder, a connection between heaven and earth that you're only going to find here. Now a group of artists called Artists for Israel were just here. And they turned this plain wall into this. Check out this mural. Isn't that something special? Isn't that beautiful? Well, that mural represents an artist's vision of Beit El, the ladder going up from earth to the heaven and hopefully to the bigger thing, which is the temple in Israel. We've brought the artists from all over the world, from Spain, from the U.S. Um, all of them are not Jewish, and they're here to support Israel and support this community specifically by brightening it with some beautiful, some beautiful paint. We're a community of creative individuals working together in collaborative projects, expressing Israel's right to exist in peace and security. What we're actually doing, um, more practically speaking, is we're fighting the culture war. It's something that we realized a long time ago, and took up spray cans and all kinds of art against it. We've done everything from rock shows to off-Broadway shows. What we do is educate artists about Israel's beauties and strengths, about how Israel protects the arts, and as such, it's the artist's responsibility to protect Israel. basic vision of this piece is that the state of Israel is the ladder separating between our oppression, our subjugation, and our redemption. We're just going to do like a um, sunrise, you know, nice sky, um, sky scene. And we're going to put the a rise. Sue, you're making the mountains of Israel. Yes. Giving it texture, giving it a uh, depth, so you can see the desert from the far, and then coming in. There's a lot of five minutes. He said that he's building the temple that you guys are taking so long to do. He's building it, and he's giving it to you as a gift. <laughs> it's his gift to you guys. We're used to painting subway trains and tunnels and the streets in New York, and grimy, gritty. You can say it's kind of like the opposite. <laughs> Uh, today we're doing a production, you know, this is more like mural, more thought out, more conceptual. So it's different than going out and kind of just putting up a, a stamp name. of like what you do. It's like my tag, Ski, and then I have my signature bubble. I know you've been all over the world for this. Yes. How does this feel? Is this any different for you? Uh, well, yeah. It's, it's like the only experience being in Israel, seeing all the sites, seeing all the people, seeing all the different uh, things that are going around in a small place, you know what I'm saying, all these conflicts and everything, and it's, it's just like incredible, you know. These are some of the best artists in the world, and it's the first time some of them are meeting, they're showing off for one another, they're showing off for the fact that they know they're doing something that's going to get in the national, in, in the public eye, in the international eye, and they want the world to see the best of their work, but I can tell you that as they've been here, their style is evolving every day, and the, the inspiration is changing the actual content. Well, the idea is to bring the message of Jewish liberation, to bring a Zionist message into communities and into certain social circles that don't normally hear our side of the story and to bring people from the graffiti artist community to a place like Beitel to see how the Jews are living and how we're struggling to hold on to our land in the face of so much aggression and so much opposition from the entire international community who wants to ethnically cleanse every Jew from Judea and Samaria at this point. We're bringing artists, we're bringing, you know, in this trip we brought artists for Israel to Beit El, we're bringing hip-hop artists, we're bringing fashion designers, people from the nightclub community, from the nightclub industry, up to places like Beit El and the Shomron and Judea, uh, to show them how we're living and how we're struggling to hold on to our land. When I met up with these guys, uh, you know, we got to talking and we saw that we were on the same track and simply talking about caring for the people of these communities. And we said, wouldn't it be a great thing for them just to also come out here? And it was just, we wanted to make it happen. They want to show also the world that, that artists do not boycott. Do you think that uh, by making the struggle cool, that will affect the realpolitik on the ground? You'll at least have people, um, younger people, and politically active young people understanding that it's cool to support the rights of the Jewish people to self-determination in our homeland. 
And, and it, it is cool, isn't it? It's absolutely cool. I mean, it's right. The truth is, it's right. It's just. Justice is on our side, and if justice is on our side, we have an obligation to go out and bring our message to as many communities as possible. Craig and I started this organization with a few other people because we support Israel and we know how much of an amazing place it is. And it was our dream to be able to bring people here who are not Jewish, they can understand what it's like here. And this trip has absolutely proven that to a T. No matter where we go, every community we've visited, you know, whether it be Jerusalem or, you know, Neve Yaakov, or it's Jerusalem, but you know, anywhere we go, Sarot, they just fall in love with the people. People don't think that fighting for Israel is very cool. There's a lot of people in the industry to try to make fighting for Israel not cool. But Israel is cool. Israel is the future. Israel is a magnet for people of inspiration, people with a little bit of prophecy inside. There's a lot of you out there. The artists for Israel were here to show their vision and their connection to Israel.